Welcome to the summit. Thanks for stopping by. I'm Joey McWilliams, and it is a privilege and a pleasure today to get to visit with Dante Brown, two-time special teams player of the year, who this past fall completed his senior season at Fort Hayes State. And Dante, listen, I know you're a couple of time zones away from where we are right here at MidwestSports.net. You're in Las Vegas right now. So how are you spending some of your quarantine time? Um, just trying to keep busy. I've been training a lot, trying to, you know, just stay in shape for this whole draft coming up. Man, that's true. And that it is not that far away. And I know that uh, at, at least – there, there is the virtual opportunity to be involved in drafts nowadays. Uh, but I, but I want to give you an opportunity to talk about that a little bit later on. I just want to talk about your career too. I mean, you've, you have had such a fantastic career at Fort Hayes state. You, you've been the punter, you've been the kicker. You have been on all America lists 10 times in a three year career. Could you have comprehended uh, a college football career like that? Pretty crazy. I mean, um, I remember freshman year, I told one of my coaches um, that, you know, I'm going to be an All-American one day, 100%. And he's like, oh, yeah, well, you know, you got a lot of work to do until you get there. And then here we go. I made my transfer to Fort Hayes, and here we are. There you are. By the way, how do you get from Ontario to Hayes, Kansas? Um, it's been a long road. Uh, originally, I ended up at a prep school. Uh, in St. Catharines near the Buffalo border. So we ended up playing against the whole American schedule um, all up throughout high school. So I ended up getting a lot of American recruiting that way. And, uh, you know, some things ended up going uh, south with getting into the Division I schools because I was taking um, a bunch of psychology classes, sociology, anthropology, that whole deal. And uh, Division One, they decided not to take those classes because they were Canadian and they didn't have an equivalent for them. So I ended up missing out on a bunch of my D1 offers. I ended up at St. Joseph's College out in Indiana. Um, true freshman there. The school ended up closing down after my freshman year. Went back into the transfer portal. Connected to a Canadian school, actually, to play corner and kick return. And um, so things fell through with that. And I think it was about 13 days before training camp started for Fort Hayes. Got a call from Coach Dudley at around like 6, 7 in the morning my time. And, you know, got the offer, got my visa papers all signed up and was out <laughs> here in Hayes, Kansas for all that. Well, that is the long road definitely to get there. But it's turned out, obviously, as a, as a successful career for you. When you come to Fort Hayes, uh, you started out as a puncher there, the the place kicking job was was already there you went ahead in time and and took over the roles place kicker as well is there one or the other that you like a little bit more or, or just both um you know i've put a lot more time into the place kicking um you know i think i'm a little bit of a better place kicker than a punter i'd say um, punting is one of those things where either you hate it or you love it because the margin for error is just so little <laughs> But uh, once you get good at it, you can have some fun with it. I mean, when everybody thinks you're going to run a fake all the time, you know, there's a bit of fun in all that too. <laughs> you know, and 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 what a what an added weapon to your arsenal then as as a kicker too. You're talking about you know the ability to be a returner as well. Having moves like that, I I would imagine that is just always keeping uh, the, those uh, return units on on edge just a little bit because they know you might just take off with it. <laughs> Yeah, it uh, definitely keeps them on their toes. I mean, we were, we had a couple of uh, plays in play where I could have went and tucked it and go. But uh, a lot of the teams, they kept doing hold up and put a spy right over there watching me all the time. So. <laughs> we're speaking with Dante Brown right now on the summit. And I want to uh, encourage everyone to please like and share these videos and subscribe to the channel to MidwestSports.net. Uh, Dante, you were recently named to the d2football.com all decade team uh, now now you're talking about your career is not just in a year at a time but being a part of uh you know being associated with now an entire decade talk about what that means i mean it's a it's a huge honor um you know you look at some of the names of guys on that list and you know they're big name guys in the nfl like they've gone on to have like great careers in the pros and they had amazing careers in college and i mean it's just it's an absolute honor just to be able to be put in conversation with those guys i mean yeah 
I, I can imagine. Well, you've been a part of some good teams, though. One of the things about Fort Hayes State, and specifically these last three years, I mean, it really has been a phenomenal time for the program. Really uh, just a, one of the most memorable three-year stretches for the football program there at Hayes as the Tigers were a part of two MIAA conference championships and, and of course, under Chris Brown. 28-7 and seven in that three-year stretch. What's it like to be a part of a team like that? Um, you know what? I was really happy my sophomore year to come into a program like Fort Hayes. Uh, I mean, you had guys like Jose Delgado. You had, you know, the Nathan Shepherds. You know, with that year when I came in, it was almost like we had the perfect pieces. Just everybody was in play. Everybody did their job. You know, you had a bunch of really hardworking guys that, and the culture was just what I guess they'd been building towards. And we finally got to, to that point. Um, you know, it was good to be able to carry on the next year after losing a couple of key pieces and still be able to repeat. And I mean, I think it's we've been able to lay a, a foundation for the next generation of guys, the next you know group of freshmen to keep going and moving up and, you know, start stretching out those playoff runs. <laughs> well, I, I know they'll always uh, remember your name, and that'll be someone uh, that those those upcoming kids that come in, especially on special teams, the bar has been set high. When you look <laughs> back on these last three years then, is is there a, a game or a moment that stands out to you and you think, wow, that, that one was really special? Um, you know, I always looked forward to Northwest Week. That was what my favorite week every year, something I definitely circled on the uh, – calendar there um i felt like our senior game you know even though it was you know a heartbreaking loss kind of deal and everything like that but uh that last field goal i hit going into overtime i felt like that really managed to uh cement everything that i've done you know all the work i've put in the last three years previously and you know just to be able to be put in that position and be able to perform the way I did was, you know, just a blessing in itself. I understand that, that, that would have to just be an amazing feeling. I, I can imagine. Well, Dante, listen, as, as you're taking steps toward the, the next part of your career, uh, you're in Las Vegas right now and talking about uh, getting prepared, uh, possibilities, draft, things like that. Uh, what is ahead for you? What do you see right now with football and, and possibly beyond? Um, so I've actually been getting a lot of calls from a lot of teams over the last few weeks there. Um, originally, I after the season was done, I went back home for about a week and then made my way down to Florida to start training down there and enjoy the nice weather and everything. <laughs> um, I made my way across to Dallas for my first combine, did really well there. Um, ended up training with Coach Zonder out in Arizona. He's... Um, Anybody who's in like the kicking game, I definitely recommend working with him. He's definitely the real deal. He works with a lot of the uh, pro players in the NFL and the CFL. And um, a lot of the guys will go back to him and then come back and be all pros kind of deal. So definitely somebody to work with. Um, I ended up working with him and staying in Arizona for about a month. And then uh, ended up coming out here to Arizona. Or I mean. To out here to Vegas to come train out here. So it's been a, a long road um, to kind of prepare for this draft thing. <clears throat> so I think we're up to about 14 teams I've talked to between the CFL and NFL over, uh, you know, this whole few months span here. Well, then I, I wish you success, Dante. I, and you talk about a long road. Clearly, you're someone who can travel a long road and, <laughs> and make it to the other side well. So we're going to keep following you along here at MidwestSports.net. We have for the last three years, and and I know it's it's just been quite a ride at Fort Hayes State. So we look forward to the, the next steps of your career. And thank you so much for taking time with us today here on the Summit. Well, really appreciate you having me on. And, you know, everybody stay safe out there. and. Keep uh, keeping on. That's exactly right. We we hope that for everyone, stay safe and stay healthy. Again, this has been the summit. I'm Joey McWilliams for Dante Brown. Thank you very much for watching. Please be sure and subscribe to the channel. In the meantime, God bless you. Thank you very much, and have a great day.